All right, so here's your ladder. They take two inch black screws. Put them in through there. So I got one side done. Say so the main thing on here, it's got a little slant there. Make sure them are facing down. Both boards will be facing down. After you put one side on, and you just gotta match your side up, attach it, and then we gotta put the handles on. We done. 202, ladder's done. To put your um, handle handles on, it was three and a half inch um three and a half inch bolts with t-nuts i'm out for break guys let's see our area here is getting slammed we still got all this though well, we got a small roof big roof uh, the frame up top all the sides and you know, the walls banisters then we're going to have our spindles that's our spindles for our crow's nest. Crow's nest is what I'll be knocking out when I get back. It's aggravating, time consuming, so that's what I'm gonna do when I get back. All right, I'm back, y'all. It is 3:10. I'm gonna take my crow's nest. I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna get busy on it, guys. Anyways, I get these two boards. Then we gotta put where our swings connect. And get these safety washers. Safety washer on here first. Slide it through this hole. On this side here, you got the round, more we'll round the hole where you put your washer, washer the nut, and then tighten it up with a half inch. Put the front piece on. Two and a half inch black screws. <clears throat> I'm gonna set my. Uh, after all that's done, set my floor on there, inch and a half screws. All right, so this is how I do my floor. And like I said, this ain't by the book. This is uh, something I learned at, over the years. And you're gonna leave two, uh, two of them off to the final. And you might wanna have an extra person when you're doing this, you know, because you gotta lift this up in the air. Now you don't have to do it this way. This is the way I do it. So I start up here, I flush that, get it screwed in. Then I come down here, I stack all my boards, and I go ahead and get my last board here so I can flush up the sides. Okay, so now everything, I just flush them up and zap them in. Again, this is me doing it my way. Okay, that's how we got laid out. F2 is gonna be your front, okay? You got these pilot holes, you got four up there. So make sure this board here, I believe it's the M30, M30 or H31, H31. Okay, you got your F2 pilot holes facing out. Right here's your F3. You got pilot holes facing out this way. All right, just make sure your hangover is here on your F2. Now you got to build two up. The next one I build, I'm gonna have my F2 on this side with my hangover that way. Uh, you just have to build it opposite like that for for it to work out. But anyways, H31, and I believe that's an H30. Let me see. Nope, H29, H29. So your top board's H29, H31 here. Hang over to the F2. All right, I'm gonna build another one, but like I said, I'm gonna have the F2 over here and the F3 over here. So my hangover's gonna be on this side. Okay, here's your spindles. So I got spindles in there, two and a half inch uh, space in between. One eight screws, O1 is the spindles. Space them out, this is your sides of your um, crow's nest. So there are two and a half. Once again, I'm not doing it by the book. If y'all wanna do it by the book, you can. This is my way. All right, folks, this is the end of the crow's nest so what i've done see i set it on the ground i set these sides up these are the sides that i done first i took the h30 board two and a half inch lags you'll see the pilot holes in the other boards drill them in and drill this in 
that connects the sides together lay it down put your um, spindles on it with two and three fourths spacing okay now we're going to bring it over here I'll bring it over here we're going to set it down on the flooring okay this is where they're going to enter so this connects to the fort that's why I left off two boards so I can work with um, putting it together when I get it up there so basically we're going to put this on there okay so what we got here I just put these brace boards on that's what's going to go your swing beam is going to set on uh, then I put your front end on I'm going to flip it back over I put these M4s across here they take two inch lags them boards down there I showed you a second go they take uh, two and a quarter with T-nut now all I got to do is put your uh, scope on it alright I'm done with this thing here this is a H21 you got to put that down uh, middle ways underneath the floor because that's it sets on the uh, swing beam and you have to drill in lags later on and right here is your scope I put on for you all right guys in this part might be hard for you all to figure out but what I got here is B7 this is the bottom of it so I knocked T-nuts in the back side I didn't put none on the bottom Okay, and what happens right there's my fort and what happens to this B7 it just stands straight up like this and it's gonna go over here I'll show you that later but anyways on the T-nuts if it's your first time doing it I mean if you do it the way I got it you're good so you got your fort right here I got this laying on the side of the swing okay there's your um, two T-nuts you knock in. And you got two T-nuts up top on this side here you knock in. Okay. This is B8. This is the bottom. So you got a T-nut up there. No, no T-nuts on the bottom. And you got T-nuts on this side. This is B5. Nothing at the bottom. You got one at the top. And you got two on the inside. Or one here on the inside. Okay. Now we got B6. Six, B6 goes on the side of your uh, where your uh, monkey bars are. Nothing at the bottom. One here. Then this right here be the back side of it. And you got two T-nuts there. You'll see a little bit better after I get put up. Now, your floorboards that you put on there earlier, uh, right here's a bracket. That's a half inch with T-nut. And half inch with T-nut. Um, B8's gonna go here by your swing beam. B5 over here. Um, three and a quarter will be on this side with an M21 board, and just a two and a half will be on this side uh, with them um, seven eight nut barrels. Seven eight, seven eight nut barrels. YouTubers, I neglected you for a while. This is from the back side where your ladder is. You got a H7, H4, that's for your roof peaks. It's got a hangover, so make sure you leave um, one bolt empty on the outside there, one hole empty on the outside. Okay, over here where your swing beam, or you got your swing beam partially connected. Okay, uh, just gotta make sure it's flush out here because you gotta put some stuff up, so make sure it's flush back here. And I just barely got that on there, but down here you got an H14. That's where your swing beam connected. Right above it is the swing beam board. I'm not sure on the number of that, but it's got a, a notch in it, so you'll know. Up here, I'm pretty sure it's a K7. Okay, on the other side where your uh, monkey bars is going to be, you got a, uh, your monkey bar. It's got a little arc in it. You'll know what it is. I don't know the number on that. And, and up here at the very top is an H13. Okay. Down here at the bottom M10 on your uh, monkey bar side. 
and this long board coming from there all the way down is the M1. And up front here, I'm trying to probably make you all dizzy, man, but I'm pretty sure that's an H28. Okay, it's got a double arc. You don't know which way that goes because you got some, you got an empty hole here and an empty hole here. So you need the empty hole over, uh, you know, away from your rock climber. All right, guys. Uh, so up top, your very top board, you got two holes up there. Very top is going to be another H4. And right below it, it's, I'm pretty sure it's an H7. It's got an arc on it. But I'm getting up top. Uh, I'll update when I can. All right. I'm gonna try my best videotaping here, but anyway, here's the roof. Starting to get to the end. I'm getting wore out, so I'm sorry about the video and uh, H9s. Got the wrong bolts, so left them down, so I have to get off. They take inch and half from our one three four, so I have to go down. Same thing here, wrong bolts. Them are uh, M21s coming across. That's H8 going up. There's H10. It goes down that way. Like I said, wrong bolts and stuff. So this part here sucks. And this is a uh, might be like an H18 or something. I don't know, guys. I'm getting tired. Um, this is when you can start disliking it. All right, YouTubers. I'm gonna do an unboxing. Sky Fork 2, this might help you all out, okay? On separating stuff. Now I got on job site at 10.02, and I just looked at it, uh, and it says 10.39. So anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes, just unboxing, separating stuff. And that's with me knowing where everything goes. You're at least, I would say, doubling that time. So you're looking at hour to two hours, just separating, if that's how you want to play it. And with me working by myself, I see now that uh, it's better off to separate it. So I can just go from, you know, I know where everything is. So let me turn it around here and show you what I got. So up here on my table, I already got my, uh, my floor. That's my top floor there, ready. This is my bottom floor, ready to go. Over here swing that's just you know swing beam and all the swing stuff the hardware still in the box here ready to go over here i got my uh windows balcony windows i believe or bay windows that's what they're called bay windows right here i got my uh, little swing glider and there's my ladder uh, these are my spindles for my uh, crow's nest which is right here's my crow's nest that's the most aggravating part of my job that's one I don't like doing it's just time consuming right here's my M27's which is the um, banisters for my downstairs and right here's M24's which is my uh, banisters for upstairs um, over here is my table and benches for downstairs. Then right there are my braces. Right here is all my banisters for the upstairs. Walls or banisters, whatever you want to call them. Because some of them. Right here is my rock climber. This is my slide I already put together. I like that. And there's my board that goes to my slide. Okay, here is my downstairs. This is going to build everything, frame it up downstairs. But them boards there, I got some of them laid out there. But this right here is going to frame it up downstairs. This right here is going to do all the framing upstairs. Upstairs. Over here is my small roof small roof frame it up you're supposed to build that down then you hand it up but i might try something different this round this is your upstairs roof upstairs roof 
Now I want to show you this. This is the scary part of it all. Okay. This is when you call a pro to come and do the job for you, man. You don't want to mess with all this. You don't want to mess with all that, I'm telling you guys. You do not want to mess with all that hardware. Still a bunch in there. I separate as I go. Most of this is basically for your accessories. So, as I don't need it right now, I'm good. Lags, more lags, T nuts, tear up your fingers. Uh, see, I got me a belt on. This is how I roll. Get your belt. You want to put a three and three fourths. That's going to be your main thing right off the rip, which is, you know. I just like how it goes because you can basically use one set and get get by with it. And two and a quarter is going to be the other one. Okay, so I got my one, my three and three force bolts, two and a quarter bolts. Main thing starting out. But you know this is basically just going to be unboxing, showing you guys. And you know as I get a part done, I'll I'll come back and just show you. Uh, I got other videos showing us building them all that good stuff but i'm by myself i want to knock this thing out it's going to take me eight to ten hours all right i'm gonna give you first update guys this is the front of the fort okay these boards here three and three fourths okay all right these are lags two and a half lags uh two and a quarter for your braces so all your braces two and a quarter bolts then you gotta shoot two and a half lags up in there. Okay. All your thicker boards. This is the uh, bench side, table side, and your where your monkey bars come out of. All the thicker boards. If they're bolts, it's gonna be three and three fourths. Um, if they're lags, two and a half. See, this right here is a thick board. This is thick board. So two thick boards, um, three and three fourths. This right here is a thick board, but this right here is more of a thinner board. Two and a quarters. Okay, so your middles get two and a quarters. Uh, right here is basically when you hit the switch up. Them are one and three fourths with T nuts. And two and a half. If they're lags, they're two and a half. Uh, got your. Here's where all your banners and railings go. And these right here, these are an uh, inch and a half. So you got two inch and a half, then you got two inches on that end, two inches there on that end. And see how I went ahead and put a starter board? Because if I didn't, if I didn't put that starter board down before I put this railing, uh, it'd be hard to get to. Same thing with my seats. Put my seats in there. Sandbox seats. Uh, and here's another thing. It's not done by the book, guys. This is my way. This is the way I know it's faster. Uh, you know, if y'all... I think by doing it this way right here, y'all can see a lot of stuff. You can pause it and make sure you're done. You're right so far. But if you go by the book, this is not the way it's going to be. This is basically your framed out uh front see i don't like to spend too much time people get bored so over here you can see this pile it's going right here's going to be our um tables and benches i'm going to put that on and i will tell you it's 130 so it's 130 now remember it's like uh 10 40 or so when i uh started so it took me about an hour i did have a couple mishaps uh this daggone belt got it too full and it's just falling out you don't want to lose your hardware so if you're walking around you see it laying around you better get it because they don't give you too much extra there is extra but not enough all right so here's some prep work i like doing before got my inch and a half screws out got all the holes you just put them in enough just for it to hold okay put all your screws in saves you a little bit of time i believe 
when you go to putting this stuff together. So here's my bottom floor. It's gonna be my top floor. So I already got my inch and a half screws in. Over here I got my benches and stuff sitting out. Uh, I'm gonna put my floor down here first, do my benches. Then we're gonna come around and do my banister. Then I'll do my floor up here. All right, so uh, 11.37, so it probably took uh, five to 10 minutes to put all these screws in. All right, YouTubers, here is the benches complete. Two inch screws, gold screws on the seats, inch and a half gold screws on the table. There's your banisters inside, one eight screws, three inch space, I believe. That's what I do. Three inch space, one eight. Y'all can check the book, but. I believe it's three inch space, maybe three and one eighths. But anyways, it's good. Now I had a mishap up here. I lost 10 to 15 minutes on this. And you know, I've been doing it for seven, going on eight years. It happens. And I even told myself. Uh, so what happens, you have three rows here that are close together. Okay. Then you got a little span in between this row here and this row here. If you don't line them up right, you're not gonna hit this metal board. And I've already, I already put, I don't know, two, three screws on, you know, each little side there. So it's just aggravating, makes you mad. But anyways, what time is it? It is 12, 18, the bottom is finished. The bottom should be fully finished, I'm pretty sure. And I got the floor on the top, which I still need to screw in some screws, and I'll do that when I get on top. All right, YouTubers, now we're gonna do the rock climber. Okay, I got the rocks. Got the uh, baby T-nuts, which is a uh, quarter t nuts. We're gonna beat these in with your mallet. So beat all your T-nuts in. These right here are blanks. M74 blanks, M75s, they got one hole. See how I got them rotated? And M76 is the two holes. All right, folks, about got ahead of myself. I was wanting to show you all. So here's the rock climber. Now what I usually do, now it don't always work out, so you chance in your luck here. I flush the bottom, put two blanks on the bottom. Come up, I flush the top two blanks up top then this is when you start with your uh, rotation which I about messed up <laughs> I'm glad I did do this okay because this one right here don't go here get tired of that bit that's also slowing me down I'm gonna have to find me a better holder so we're gonna take this off because now a blank goes there. Okay, and this is the first time I open my book. There's your book. So I need to put a blank here. All right, but like I said, sometimes it's better off to start from the top and work your way down. But in most cases, you can flush this bottom up and it keeps, you know, it keeps your boards here flat where you can just go through there and bust it out. If not, if you start up top, just make sure as you're working your way, down you're keeping um, your boards flush to the sides and also when your rocks when you put your rocks on okay just make sure all they're all facing one way because here's a flat end you cannot grip with your hand from that end up here's where the grips are so when you put them on your boards make sure they're all facing one way okay these are facing up that's where you can grip and climb up the uh, rocks. There you have it. There's your rock climber. Okay, back here it takes an uh, inch and a half bolts. Put your inch and a half bolts up through there. Then the board that you connect to your rock climber, you gotta put T-nuts in the back of that. So it was uh, 12.52 when I finished this um, rock climber. 
as you can see we are losing boards they're just disappearing guys uh, right here was where the rock climber was it's a bare spot this was your bench area then I think right here was your banisters down low all gone now we're gonna go over here we're gonna start on this uh, monkey bars. Monkey bars at uh, what time? 12:53. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. It's done. 116, and it's all the way done. If you all want to learn how to do this, how to how to, you just skim down a few of my videos, and I made one for the monkey bars all right so just look at that it's a pretty good video it'll show you everything you need all right here's a swing beam doing two parts there's a swing beam these are three inch bolts with seven eight nut barrels and you got these long bolts in there they're just all in one pack uh and here's the second part of it up here this is a three inch bolt with seven eight nut barrels these are one inch bolts seven seven eight nut barrels this is three and three fourth bolt with one and a half nut barrel two and a quarter nut barrel two and a quarter seven eight nut barrels these are two inch seven eight nut barrels two inch seven eight nut barrels now i leave all this loose i got everything started so now I'm gonna go around and tighten it up. Then I'm going to connect it to that. So there she is. That's your swing. That's where it's gonna hook up back there. Uh, when I get the top level on. But the time is 1.37. Finished up by putting this on. Like I said, leave this stuff loose. After you get it on there, tighten them up. Three inch bolts, seven, eight nut barrels. Okay, now I'm gonna do our bay windows. Then I'm going to do our ladder, but you see back here it's getting empty. Nothing back there. That's where the swings, swing beam and stuff was. You know, up here's where your uh, monkey bars was. So I believe I'm going to do the bay windows and the ladder and take a break. Okay, bay windows is how you start them out. Inch and a half black screws also just a heads up I know it's gonna be middle of this video but if it's got the darker type of wood you're gonna use black screws on them you got the um, tan wood you're gonna use the gold uh, screws okay same thing with bolts and stuff so if you ever run out of screws bolts uh, you might have put the wrong ones in but I would not go back and redo it you know it's just the, for looks all right 146 first bay windows done inch and a half screws everywhere but the corners you got four corners here they take one inch okay that's done now you gotta repeat the second mm, there's your second one 151 got both of our bay windows sometimes they can be a pain getting in hopefully they go in good monkey bars for oh i didn't do my ladder yet okay i'm gonna go over and do my ladder now i'm taking a break